Welcome guys. So this is the first part to prove the uh, Legender uh, three theorem, uh, three square theorem. Uh, by the way, uh, so this uh, this is first video. So uh, we what we need to do is just try to prove the uh, the easy direction. Okay. So let me first start the let me first start the uh, the theorem. So a theorem, uh, basically, I guess everyone should uh, if you <laughs> go into this video, I guess you know. So Legender theorem. Uh, basically it says that uh, says that uh, so uh, okay so the notation is that this x y z is are uh, in uh, just the natural number including zero then I should say that uh, okay so I should say that uh, uh, any okay so uh, n cannot so uh be written as three square i just say sum of three square it should be x plus y square plus z squares if and only if n is the form of a uh, a uh, 4a times a times b plus 7 uh which a b are uh uh net uh, uh a b are non-negative integer so basically, uh, somebody tell you that uh, if n is the n is not the four times uh, four a times a b plus se seven, then an n is must be three square. Okay. So uh, the example is the easy example is that uh, a choose zero, b choose zero. So the first one is seven. Okay. So you can check that seven cannot be written as sum of three squares if x y z uh, are not uh, integers. Okay, and uh, the, the next is uh, uh the next is fifteen. Okay, so you can try that. Uh, a, a this is a zero, b is uh I guess one. So you cannot write fifteen as the three square. Okay, uh, basically uh, you can write a code to check, but it's very easy that you you just try each case. And it's very fast that you you can see you cannot write a fifteen into the sum of the uh, three square. Okay. Okay, so in uh, in in this video, uh, we try to prove the first part. So the proof is that we prove uh, this way. So this is the easy way. Uh, so maybe uh, n is a uh, 4a times 8 plus b plus, uh, 8 b plus 7. Uh, if then n cannot be written, n cannot be written as sum of three squares. Okay, okay. So the proof uh separate into first. Uh, so okay. So basically, uh, we what what we first is check the the number uh the square uh modulo eight. So suppose we have zero square, one square, two square, three square, four square, a five square, six square, uh, a seven square, eight square. So and then this is uh modulo eight. So zero modulo eight. This is one four one. Uh, zero. Uh, twenty one. Uh, four. Uh, one zero. Okay, so let me see. Uh, which is correct? Okay, so uh, you can you so you can see that. Uh, okay, so suppose you choose three of them, then uh, you can get like uh, you can get zero because zero can be written as zero plus zero zero, and then you also can get one because one zero plus zero. And you also can get two because one plus one plus zero. You you can get three because one plus one is one, one. You can get four. Uh, how can you get four? You already have four. Four plus five zero, and you get five. You get six. Now the problem is that you cannot get seven. You cannot get seven. And uh, definitely you can get eight. Okay. So so this so okay. So let's prove that. Uh, if somebody give you three squares, cannot be a cannot be a uh, seven mod a. So who should tell you that a uh, a times b plus seven uh, cannot be written cannot be written as sum of three square? Okay, so this is the first part. Okay, this is the first part. Okay, so this part is uh, very easy. And uh, also the second part is that uh, 
uh, second part is that uh, how about uh, four times a a b plus seven? How about uh, somebody give you a number? Okay, so I claim that uh, uh, n cannot be written as uh, three. Cannot. Okay, and the reason is that uh, suppose uh, there are x, y, and z such that uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared, which is uh four a plus a b plus seven, which is n. Then x, y, z must be even. Okay. Now oh, this is n. Uh. Okay. So the reason is that. Uh, okay. So the reason is that. The reason is that uh, you, uh, if if you take any, uh, so since it's for any time, so so you so you can check that uh, uh, if n is this form, then then you if you mod eight, okay, it's, uh, if you mod eight, okay, so if n mod eight, basically just four to the a uh, eight b plus seven mod eight. Okay, so definitely the result must can only be zero to uh zero two uh zero uh two uh four eight uh zero two four okay so we have so we have some case which is zero okay and uh uh now case is maybe it's uh maybe it's four okay and uh, I I mean this is only and you can check that there's no way that you can get to there's no way that you can get to okay uh yeah so for for uh, for example suppose you can four times fifteen then sixty and then you mod eight basically you get four uh, so you can check that zero and four is the only one so basically you need to find a sum of length zero so zero 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 means then this is all even 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 and if you want to get four you get four zero zero. Okay, so you you uh, four zero zero means all of them need to be even. Okay, so so which tells you that the x y and z must be even, must be even. So x square plus y square plus z square is equals to four to the a minus one a b plus seven. Okay, so then then you can keep going, right? Because uh, this is uh, if a is non zero, uh. If a is larger than one, then you can do the same process. Keep going, keep going, and finally you you will find some pairs. I call it s prime, y prime, z prime. Some of them is a b plus seven. Then it, this is contradiction, because we we prove that a b plus seven form cannot be written as sum of three squares. Okay, so this is the 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 only one directions of the le uh, legendary three square theorems, and uh, basically this is the easy directions. And uh, maybe in the future we can prove the difficult uh situation that the uh, the the forward directions uh, which is very difficult <laughs> okay so uh, I, I hope i hope you guys enjoy this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in the uh, next videos